Mark, I just uh, asked you, you had a long meeting, um, a long day, obviously. If you take one and two, um, what is uh, talked about in that meeting? Well, uh, always looking to try and improve. Uh, obviously, uh, we go through the race in detail, and uh, there's uh, obviously no testing these days, so race weekends are very important, and Sunday afternoon is uh, the longest time the car is running in uh, one duration, so uh, we get a lot of information. Also, uh, we had racing the competitors as well to see where they're strong and weak. So, uh, yeah, it's an important time for everyone to get together after the race and debrief while everything's fresh. And uh, it was a very good result for the team today. Obviously, we, uh, we executed the race as best we could. Of course, uh, I would like the result to be the other way around, but uh, in the end, uh, the start was crucial. And, uh, you know, Sebastian got a very good slipstream in the run to turn one and uh, he gained a lot of uh, overspeed with, uh, with entering turn one. And uh, it's such a wide breaking point for turn one. You can block the inside, block the outside, but then... Yeah, there's always uh, some room. So uh, we took the fight then to turn four. A little bit more pressure on Sebastian then. And, um, and he was uh, it's a bit narrower up there and a bit easier to defend. And then uh, after that, I thought the race was going to be quite difficult for me to win without a mistake from Sebastian. And uh, we know the quality of him. There was no real mistakes. Uh, I was happy with my pace for the race. Uh, both of us were very even throughout and uh, got the cars home for a one-two. You had two disappointing, uh, disappointing races, both of you had. How important was it for the whole team to have the one to finish? Very important. You know, the momentum uh, needs to start building you know, pretty quickly. Uh, the job that they've done to recover, obviously, off some tough weekends is, uh, is a real credit to the team. Uh, the spirit internally in our team and the chemistry is sensational. You know, working with Renault and Red Bull, everyone together is, uh, is fighting incredibly hard. We take on these big manufacturer teams, but uh, our team is very unique, and we are uh, very powerful for Formula One. People love following Red Bull, and, uh, and uh, so far it uh, hasn't been the smoothest championship, but uh, to come back and uh, did what we did today was, uh, was a very good performance. The team has the win out of the way now. Now you need it. Uh, next race, maybe? I hope so. Uh, of course, you know, you need uh, everything needs to be perfect. And of course, uh, today it was, with the exception of obviously uh, a slipstream and a passing move in turn one. And uh, this was the difference between the victory. I mean, this is now about one and a half hours after the race. Uh, you do look a bit cheered up, even um, even you mentioned it. Um, obviously, you wanted to be um, uh, on, uh, well, the first position after taking pole. It is a bit disappointing, right? Yes, uh, you know when you start on pole, you have a good chance to to, to take the victory, and uh, you know it didn't didn't turn out like that today. Uh, I was the first loser, and uh, but in the end, uh, it was a good result for the team, and uh, there was a lot of positives from me today. Of course, uh, it could have gone a lot lot worse for me today. So there's a, a lot of things that I can grasp and take forward for the rest of the championship, and uh, looking forward to it. Let's take a quick look uh, into the future. Um, your strongest opponent, if we look at the championship, is Ferrari. Is that your strongest opponent right now? Well, I think Ferrari and McLaren are very strong. Uh, clearly, it's three teams uh, already. Uh, Mercedes are doing okay, but uh, it's Ferrari, McLaren and, and Red Bull that are clearly the most consistent at the moment in terms of pace, and uh, it's going to be a good fight. Everybody has you a bit on top of everybody else. Can you conserve that for China? Yes, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, uh, it was a good race last year. We finished first and second as well. It was a wet race, obviously. But looking forward to uh, all the races, of course. Uh, looking forward to the fighting. And uh, there's not much fighting on the track, obviously, with the new regulations. It's not as uh, maybe as it was in the past. But in the end, uh, when you get the results this team is getting at the moment, then, of course, we enjoy it. My good luck for the next race. Yes. Christian, a 1-2 finish. What a great result for the team. And I'm sure a big relief, too, right? It's a great you know, uh, result for the team, for the drivers, for Red Bull, especially after the problems that we've had in the first couple of races. So to get a one-two finish here at arguably one of the hardest tracks um, you know, is a great, uh, great team result today. You mentioned it, um, the build-up to the race. Everybody had you the fast of the first two races, but you didn't have the results to show for it. Was it the biggest pressure not on, only on the team but also on the drivers? Well, it's really frustrating because we'd won the last three races at the end of 2009. I mean, you had a good car coming into this year. Uh, we've been very fast in Bahrain. We should have won that, but for a spark pro problem and a wheel problem with Sebastian in, in Melbourne. And it was just frustrating that we should have won the first two races. So the whole team was very determined when we came here. And, you know, they've done a fantastic job. And we've um, coming away with a 1-2 finish. You're coming out of a long meeting. Um, well, the fans would think uh, there should be a meeting with a couple of glasses of champagne and you guys clap each other's backs. So it's not the case. Um, explain to us how the end of a race is already the start of the next one. 
Yeah, no, we have an hour and a half briefing with the drivers, the engineers, and also with the factory. So you know, we're already focused on China, on the performance and reliability issues, um, you know, to improve the car. So it's, it's non-stop, and uh, we'll have a glass of uh, uh, Red Bull and something on the way home. Let's look ahead to China. Um, you are a step ahead of the class right now. That is always hard to conserve. Um, what makes you positive that you will be ahead in China as well? Well, three tracks, three different types of venue. The car's been fast at all three. Um, you know, Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, they're all pushing very, very hard. We've got some more developments coming for China, and uh, it was the scene of our first victory uh, in Formula One last year. So, um, you know, we go back there um, with uh, high expectations. One last great picture we have to um, talk about. When Sebastian got out of the car, he made that crazy little jump. I'm sure it joys uh, well sight for everybody on the team. Absolutely. It's fantastic to see you know, both the drivers up there. Sebastian drove a, a great weekend. Mark was also very, very fast here. So a you know, great result for the team and great to see you know, the Red Bull guys at the top of the podium. And the last one, do you see Ferrari being uh, the toughest comp uh, opponent? They are in, uh, in the front of the standings, but uh, maybe not the quickest. Ferrari, McLaren and the Mercedes team are going to be big opponents. So we don't underestimate any of them, but uh, you know, I'm very confident in the guys at Red Bull that we've got a great team and two great drivers. Christian, thank you very much. Mark, I just uh, asked you, you had a long meeting, um, a long day, obviously, if you take one and two, um, what is uh, talked about in that meeting? Well, I'm uh, always looking to try and improve. Uh, obviously, uh, we go through the race in detail, and uh, there's uh, obviously no testing these days, so race weekends are very important, and Sunday afternoon is uh, the longest time the car is running in uh, one duration, so uh, we get a lot of information. Also, uh, we had racing the competitors as well to see where they're strong and weak. So, uh, yeah, it's an important time for everyone to get together after the race and debrief while everything's fresh. And uh, it was a very good result for the team today. Obviously, we, uh, we executed the race as best we could. Of course, uh, I would like the result to be the other way around, but uh, in the end, uh, the start was crucial. And, uh, you know, Sebastian got a very good slipstream in the run to turn one, and uh, he gained a lot of uh, overspeed with, uh, with entering turn one. And uh, he's such a wide...